girlies, it's Tammy. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be swatching, lip swatching, the new LA Splash Wickedly Divine Liquid Lipsticks. They came out with a collection called the Malevolent Minx Collection. It has five new custom colours. Colours? colors to unleash the wicked in you um i believe it's like a disney collaboration it doesn't say disney on it but it's like a disney theme because it has names like devil like Cruella Deville, then you have um, Ursula from Little Mermaid. I believe they will be coming to Beauty Bay very soon because if you want to buy LA Splash, you can buy them in the UK from Beauty Bay. But if you are um, in the USA, you can order straight from LA Splash's website. I do also have a discount code and these items were sent to me, but this video is not sponsored. So feel free to use that code if you want. I will leave it in the description box, but of course, no pressure. So let's do some swatches. In terms of formula, I absolutely love this formula. This is my favorite liquid lipstick formula it does get dry in after about four to five hours but it is so easy to reapply you don't have to completely take off the liquid lipstick that you already have it actually layers beautifully of course not five six seven eight layers i don't know i've never tried but if i put one layer especially because it's so pigmented like one swipe you'll see as i'm lip swatching it but you can easily just layer this up if you need a touch up which is why it's one of my favorite formulas because no other liquid lipstick can do that without crumbling away and getting all nasty and tacky on your mouth so yeah i definitely recommend this formula it comes in packaging like this so these are a new formula they are not the same formula as the ones that are in the um, clear glass bottle basically it's not the same formula so i do prefer these liquid lipsticks so these are the two shades that live in my everyday handbag i have the shade mortifious which is like a nice nudie brown for me and then i have this peachy nude which is called vanish and these two live in my everyday bag i was actually wearing it yesterday <laughs> They retail for £9.50 on beautybay.com, which I mean, compared to other liquid lipsticks like Anastasia, how do you say it, Anastasia or Anastasia, I really don't know, I don't care. If you would like to see a tutorial for this look, it was uploaded yesterday to the Makeup Revolution YouTube channel, so I will try to leave the link in the description box. So the first colour we're going to try is called Stepmother, and I think this stands for Cinderella's Stepmother, so it is like a pinky colour, but it looks like it has a metallic sheen to it. Let's try it on. Do you see how pigmented they are with just one swipe? Like, wow. And I also love the applicator. I forgot to tell you guys I could ramble on about these liquid lipsticks forever. But I love the applicator shape. It easily fills in my lips because obviously my lips are big. It takes a while to get filled in. But with these applicators, so easy. Plus it has like a little hole in the middle and it's meant to hold more product, they say. But to me, I still have to dip in for my top lip. So this is actually my first time trying their metallic kind of finish liquid lipstick. And from what I can see, it is settling into my lines. Do you see that? I don't know if I need to exfoliate or what, but I find this with every metallic matte liquid lipstick. They just settle right into the lines. That's why I really don't wear metallic matte liquid lipsticks at all. But with this one, as soon as I spread the lips or like smile, you can see all the cracks in my lips, which is horrendous. The color is nice. It's pretty. It's a nice kind of magenta purpley pink color. It's cute, I just don't like the metallic matte. If you have like lip filler and your lips are really smooth or something like that, then maybe you might like these, but if you have a lot of lines like me, it's a no girl, it's a no. Okay, so next we have the shade Ursula, which is actually a bright blood red, which I would have thought Ursula would have been purple, kind of my eyes are giving me Ursula vibes. I don't think of Ursula when I see red, Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, she wears a red lipstick, doesn't she? It's because her body's purple, so I'm always thinking of purple when I think of her, but she does have red lipstick on, my bad, sorry about that. So with this eye look and now this lipstick, I practically am Ursula. <laughs> It's very, very vibrant, very, very bright. Um, I don't think this is my type of red, but if you are maybe medium, lighter skin, you will enjoy this red. But I prefer deeper, kind of blood, vampire red. But yeah, the formula is super opaque. Um, I'm not a fan of this color. However, the formula, like I said, is like one of my favorite formulas. So if you do like bright reds like this, it's almost like an orangey red. Bear in mind, it will look different on different skin tones, of course. Um, but for me, I think it's the eye look maybe throwing it off, maybe with a different eye look or maybe just no um, eyeshadow, big lashes and this lipstick, I might be feeling it a bit more, but as for right, right now, not for me. Okay, so the next color we have is called Evil Queen and it's like a deep kind of pinkish color again, pinkish red. Let's give it a swatch. 
Oh, I love this. Every time I see colors like this, it reminds me of, do you remember when uh, Rihanna did the collaboration with MAC? The Pleasure Bomb color, I actually have it, but it's on the other side of my makeup room, so I'm not gonna compare, but I love deep pinks like this. Okay, so here we have the shade Evil Queen. It's not 100% dry yet, but as for the shade, I am liking it. I'm not loving it. I mean, pink is not my thing at all. I mean, give me a deep, deep, dark, almost black purple, and I am your best friend. Give me a pink and you know, we're, we're acquaintances. <laughs> so I'm not like loving this color. However, it is cute. It does suit me. It is nice. It's a deep dark pink. If I was to go for a pink, this would be the pink that I would go for. So I'm not hating it. I definitely do like it and it looks cute. It's dried down 100% now and yeah, I like it. So that's the shade Evil Queen. Okay, so I feel like the last two shades are gonna be my ultimate favorites because they are deep and dark and that is all me. So first I'm gonna go in with the shade Queen of Hearts, which looks like a really deep dark um red the so let's hope this yeah this looks really dark compared to the first red this looks right up my alley oh my god yes oh yes and even though it's a darker color it's not patchy at all it's just as opaque as all the other shades i love this color i definitely recommend this color out of the whole collection this is my favorite so far just one Okay, so the final shade is called Deville, of course, after Cruella Deville, and we're gonna go in. This is the deepest, darkest shade out of all of them. I hate that my top lip is uneven, so obviously when I put liquid lipstick on, it just looks wrong, and then I try to balance it out, then I end up overlining one half, have to overline the other half. Mm. Oh, I'm loving this look. This with the eyes. Mm loving living loving and living <laughs> definitely my hands down favorite color out of the whole collection i'm so glad i left this color to last because oh, this is gorgeous i've never actually seen a color like this wow it actually looks stunning i can't say anything apart from stunning gorgeous beautiful amazing wow oh my god i love this color somebody come look at this oh my god mm. especially with the eye look i'm just i'm feeling myself I'm feeling myself. So if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Take care of yourself. Bye.